Give it to me, Rachel. My gosh. Too much. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? My name is Hannah. I'm your voice teacher. You can find me over on TikTok and Instagram at your voice teacher. How are you? I have a brand new mic. Is her audio crystal clear? Like a morning songbird? Yes. It is. And hopefully I never, I don't have audio issues anymore. I've only been on YouTube for like, uh, over a year. It's about time that I learned how to use my mic and have good audio. <laughs> Sorry, Beef, that is a struggle for us all the time. Also, I got a new chair. It looks orange, but it's not, it's pink. And I got a new desk. I'm just feeling very much like a professional today. Today we're reacting to Rachel, Rachel, Leah Michelle. <laughs> Her name's Rachel Berry on Glee, singing Don't Rain On My Parade from Glee. I was going to do the live performance, but I recently reacted to Glee and it was really, really fun. And so I wanted to do another Glee performance. By the way, guys, if you want me to react to another episode of Glee, can you tell me which one down below? Because I can't do every single one because there's like a hundred of them. But if there's a few that are like the best ones and the best songs, I want to react to them. So please let me know in the comments. And before we jump in, I want to say to all those singers out there, if you are looking for more control and consistency in your voice, and you want to uncover secrets to mixing, and maybe you want to discover the joy of singing again, I created a mini singing course just for you. It's called Reclaim Your Voice, and you can sign up with the link in the description. Oh, it's a new chair. I'm not used to it. How do I lock it? No idea. I just won't lean back. Cheers. Don't tell me not to live, just sit and putter. Life's candy and the sun's a ball of butter. Don't bring around a cloud to rain on. Do you guys want to know a secret? I sang this song at like a youth camp when I was 17. I think I have footage of it. You just have to scroll down to the bottom of my Facebook. Years and years and years. Oh, there's pictures of me and Shrek. Focus, focus, focus. Look, it's me. Okay, hold, hold on, I'm getting distracted. Oh, come on. That's disappointing, I couldn't find it. That was during my screlting phase. I thought I was belting, but really I was just screaming. So it's probably for the best that I can't find it. But if I do, maybe I'll do a reaction video to it. Carry on, Rachel. Hey, don't tell me not to fly. I've simply got to. If someone takes a spill, it's me and not you. Who told you you're allowed to rain on my parade? How much am I I love what she's doing here. This is obviously got some auto-tune on it. I can hear it. It's a little heavier than I would like, but it's also a TV show, so like, okay, maybe I'll let it pass a little bit. And maybe also, because I've heard Leah Michelle sing before, I can comment a little bit better on this. Me and not you, who told you you're allowed to rain on my So a lot of this song is in the middle of the female first passage. So that is the area between chest voice and head voice coming together and you have to start doing some mixing. Because of where it is, it's kind of an area of our voice that if you feel comfortable, you can add more chest voice. Mixing doesn't have to mean perfectly mixed 50% chest, 50% head. It's a spectrum. You can add a lot of different things. So on Rain On My Parade, big open vowel, she adds a lot more chest voice. Let's listen to that again. And not you who told you you're allowed to rain on my parade. My parade. It sounds really nice. And if I found out your turn at that, sir. At least I didn't fake it, hat, sir. I guess I didn't. Okay, all right. I like an audience participation moment. I do. I like when, you know, maybe ensemble members go down the aisles in an audience. I think that can be very interactive. Too much. Too much. You're making the people around you feel uncomfortable. Rachel, do it on the stage. That's all I'm gonna say. It but whether on the rose of sheer perfection, a freckle on the nose of life's complexion, the cinder or the shiny apple of its eye. Wow, she really is singing this whole song in the aisle, isn't she? Wow, okay. First of all, I just have to comment on her dress. Have you ever seen anything more 2009? I think in 2009, I went to homecoming wearing a dress like that. Actually, now that I was looking at my Facebook, I did. Do you guys want to see it? Oh gosh, guys, I'm really going to expose myself with this one. This is blurry because we didn't have camera phones back then, okay? Look at that pink dress, Hannah, with the black sash, right? And then look, this is senior year homecoming. This is when redhead Hannah made her first appearance. You see the chunky sash? 
Like, what was it with that? I don't think it was there that flattering to anybody. Oh, man, I'm really getting distracted in this one. She looks great, but it just feels very 2009. Also with, like, the ballet flats. I love it. Oh, gosh, I was going to say something about the vocals. Under all the shiny apple of its eye. Shiny apple of its eye. Oh, man, that's so great. And she on I is adding a cry. Listen to that. Love its eye. Love its eye. That is a Leah Michelle signature. She does that a lot. I would say that's kind of a crutch for her. I hear that a lot, a lot in her voice. It's not a bad thing. It's a style choice that you can add if you want to. When it becomes something that you can't take out of your voice, like it's just a, becomes a bad habit, then we want to fix that. I think that makes a lot of sense right there because it adds more chest voice. It's great. I, I gotta fly once, I gotta try once, only can die once, right sir. Oh, life is juicy, Finally, juicy, she's on the stage. And you see I gotta have my bite, sir. Get ready for me, love, cause I'm a comma. I simply gotta march, my heart's a drama. Don't bring around a cloud to rain on my parade. I'm Ooh, Leah, okay, that was great. So on my parade, she added a lot more chest voice and a lot of vibrato. Very nice. Leah Michelle, I would say, probably has a similar voice to mine. It leans more towards a, a Disney princess sound versus a like Elphaba sound. I am a soprano, as is Leah Michelle. And so we feel very comfortable mixing and in my head voice. But right there, she added a bigger vowel, more vibrato, and it really gave her a lot more depth. That was really nice. Good job, Rachel Berry. Rain on my parade. I'm gonna I like it. live and live now. Get what I want, I know how. One roll for the whole shebang. One throw that bell will go clang. Target and wham. Give it one to me, Rachel. Shot, one gunshot and bam. Hey, Mr. Onstein. This song is so good. Here I am. First of all, sounded great. Second of all, were you guys around for the TikTok challenge where you did like the Don't Rain on My Parade riff? You remember that? I did that. It was really hard, but I worked on it and I got it. But now I can't listen to that note and not think about the riff. So that's a problem. Mr. Arnstein, here I am. Oh boy. It has been a long time since I did it. But it's like. Um. Do you guys remember that? Is it just me? Uh, Yeah, that was it. Let me find uh, the one that I did and it's way better. Oh my gosh, but you know your girl's posting too many TikToks. How can I find something from a year ago? Oh my gosh, I'm only just down the past a couple months. This was like right when I got on TikTok. Oh boy, here it is. Almost a year ago. Let's see if it's good. Hey, Mr. Arnstein, here I am. <laughs> okay. May 2020, Hannah. Oh, it's not too bad. Take some tips from that, Hannah. Oh my God, I'm already at 17 minutes of footage. My editor's gonna kill me. This video is really going off the rails. But that's what I think of whenever I hear this. Anyway, back to Rachel. God, what's wrong with me? That's an A4. So that means she can add a lot of chest voice there and she does it really, really well. Here I am. And it sounds like she's modifying the vowel slightly towards E, eh, so it's not A. Here I am, ah, is a little too wide. So we want to go towards eh. Here I am, ah. Right there will give us the chest voice that we need without getting too spread. I'll march my band out. I'll be in my drum. Ooh, okay, my was fabulous. I'll be Okay, 
I'm going to rewind just a little bit. Did you hear all those cries that she just added in? Not to take away from the fact that she just did that really, really well. That sounded really good. But a lot of cries. And I think that might be an indicator that we're just starting to over sing just a little bit. Rain on my so it's rain on my puff. And then on rain. That's on a B4. And she got a standing ovation. Rachel, all she's ever wanted, isn't it? That's her dream. That was fabulous. That was really, really nice. I think that was a really great example of creating the sound that you're looking for, which is that song needs a lot of belt, a lot of chest voice, while also letting your voice type inform the choices and decisions that you make, right? So if I wanted to sing Alphaba, I totally could do that. I'm not going to put myself in a box, and I don't want you guys to do this either, where you say, I'm a Glinda, I'm not an Alphaba, I can't sing that stuff. My water bottle almost fell over. You can, but your choices are going to be different than maybe someone who has thicker vocal folds and maybe does identify or feel more comfortable singing as Alphaba. Like I said, I would compare my voice to Leah Michelle's because it is a little higher, a little bit lighter. That's what I'm talking about. Not trying to say that I'm like, just as good of a singer as her, although I hate using those words saying that one singer is as good as another. We're all different, right? Our voices are so different. But knowing that and hearing the choices that she's making, they're very, very smart choices. If I was going to sing this song, I would copy everything she was doing because we have similar voices. So that's something to keep in mind, that when you're listening to someone singing and you love the things that they're doing, it doesn't mean that we're going to copy exactly what they're doing unless we have a similar voice type, right? If I was listening to Bonnie Milligan, who has a wonderful voice and is a fantastic belter, I couldn't sing in the same exact way as she does because she has thicker vocal folds. It's just the difference in our anatomy, and our physiology. But I could say I like the depth that she has in that sound. I like the vibrato that she's adding. I like the edge that she has. Those things we can add to our voice. But comparing them does nobody any good. This video has been a little cuckoo bananas because I've just been all over the place. I swear that I did have my ADHD medication today. Just feeling chatty, I guess. But really, I would kind of like to do a video reacting to my old performances, even though oh, the cringe is going to be real. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to check out Reclaim Your Voice, the mini singing course that I created just for you. Until next time, I'm Hannah. I'm your voice teacher. And now you're all my students. Please like and subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Really, go follow me. And I'll see you later. Bye.